Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the best settings to improve your FPS, reduce lags, stutters, and improve visibility in Call of Duty's Warzone 2.0's new Season 2. The season was dropped recently and a lot of you guys have been complaining about the bug issues and FPS drops. So here I am back again with another brand new video. Watch it till the end for better results. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, first things first, you have to set the best nvidia control panel settings now i'm stressing out on this settings because it is really important because cod is really really gpu dependent game so if you have an nvidia graphics card you can follow the settings but if you have an amd or intel hd graphics there is no need to worry i'll be leaving a link to both of the videos down below for the best settings for amd as well as intel hd gpu so you can go and check it out if you have an nvidia graphics card you can simply right click on any empty area of your desktop go to show more options and select nvidia control panel or you can simply search for control panel and go and select nvidia control panel as well now once you are here you have to go under the 3d settings and go into the adjust image settings with preview and make sure to select use the advanced 3d image settings then go into manage 3d settings and copy the same settings as i have mentioned over here Alright, once you have done copied the settings, go into configure surround and physics and then in the physics settings, select your GPU over here under the processor settings. In case you are running a laptop and the games are utilizing your CPU more than your GPU, then you can select this and that will eliminate the problem. One more important setting is right under the video settings over here. Just go into adjust video color settings and within video settings, go and select the dynamic range. By default, it is always set to limited. You can go and set it to full and that will be enhancing your monitor colors drastically. Once you're done with this, you can simply close the NVIDIA control panel settings. Let's move to step number two that is check for windows updates for that you have to go under the settings section of your windows and then go into the last option that is the windows update option in here you will see the status of your windows updates if there are any updates pending you can see restart required and there are the updates that are available for your windows all you need to do is download all of them and make sure that you keep your windows up to date it is always better to keep your windows up to date Right beneath that, you will find advanced options. You have to go over there, then select delivery optimization and make sure to turn off allow downloads from other PC that will save a lot of bandwidth while you're playing the games. Next thing you need to search is the game mode right over here. Go and make sure to turn on game mode. This will optimize your PC by disabling the apps and other services running in the background, allowing you to save a lot of processing power. Right beneath that, you will find the related settings. You have to go into graphics and make sure to go to change default graphics settings and keep both of them on. This will basically allow your PC to use your hardware accelerated scheduling. Basically, it will utilize your GPU to render games more over than your CPU. And go back to graphics and then in here you have to add your game to the list. Now you can go to browse and select the file location manually. For me, I've already added the Call of Duty HQ. You have to add it similarly from the directory of your game installation. Then click on options over here and select high performance and then click on save. You have to make sure that you do this step. This is really important. One more setting is right here. You have to search for storage and select the turn on storage sense. Basically, you have to come all the way down over here under the storage management and make sure that storage sense is enabled. This will keep deleting your temporary files as well as recycle bin regularly, allowing your PC to function much, much faster and better than usual. Now let's move to step number three that helps you fix your network issues in games. So let's say you are troubling with ping 
packet loss, latency and other things then this simple application will help you guys a lot. I highly recommend you guys to download exit lag from the link in the description below it is free to use for 3 days you can go and hit the get exit lag button and once you download and install it up you can see an interface just like this. Now here you will find a list of over 250 games to choose from you can simply look up for warzone 2.0 over here and then select the game region that is nearest to you for me it is sg singapore 01 and you can see the estimated ping that i am going to get in the game you have to simply click on apply routes and this will basically eliminate most of your ping latency and network connectivity issues one more important feature in this application is in the tools section over here you get a dedicated fps boost section where you can enable the first third fourth fifth and second last option to get much better performance and this will reduce stuttering in game so exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription plan to use it they offer one month six month and even 12 month subscription at a very discounted rate and if you go and purchase it from the link in the description below you can save an extra 10 percent off on any of the subscription so make sure to go and choose wisely step number five is de-animating windows and that will basically de-animate your windows say whenever you take your mouse somewhere over here you can see these animations it will totally remove it basically Basically what you have to search for is adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are in the performance options you have to click on adjust for best performance. If you have a super low end computer I would recommend you guys to completely disable all of the uh, animations in your windows but if you are running a medium end computer I would recommend you guys to click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. This will make your windows look a little bit better and normal but removing these two options will completely deanimate your windows so i won't prefer that until you have a super low end pc you can simply click on apply and you can close it the next step is system configuration and for that you have to simply search for system configuration as it says and then this window will pop right in front of you you have to go and locate yourself the boot section go to advanced options click on the number of processes and choose the maximum number of processes available for you this will optimize your computer's booting time and it will also help your game and fps to be better in the long run you can simply click on apply and then click on ok the next step is getting a restore point and this is a really important step i would always recommend you guys to do it simply search for restore point and you'll find create a restore point right over here in the system protection you have to go and locate yourself your local disk c not any other disk it has to be local disk c or any drive it says system click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled then click on create name it a uh, war zone and then click on create in case anything wrong happens to your computer in the next procedures you can always have a register point and you will not lose any data once again all of the steps shown in this video are completely safe but there can be some issues you will be facing as not all windows are same once it is done you can simply click on the close button and let's proceed with the next step that is the warzone 2.0 season 2 fps pack you can find this pack from the link in the description below you can simply download and extract this thing up easily first folder is the pc optimization and in here i have left these registry files all you need to do is run all of them they all do the task related to their name this one will boost your pc's responsiveness that includes your keyboard and mouse response times then this one will disable large system cache so in case your system produces large cache files this will disable making large cache files and it will break into smaller cache files that can be cleared by storage sense then this one disables power throttling so in case your pc starts using more power then your pc won't automatically disable the hardware to save power and lastly is the thread priority this will optimize your cpu as well as gpu and i have a dedicated folder for cpu priority where you can find increased power efficiency you have to run this as well and that will optimize your cpu to draw more power this is completely safe you do not need to worry then you have an amd and intel folder so according to your cpu you can go with yours i have an amd cpu so i have to run the amd cpu priority similar to that i have also left an intel cpu priority once again once you're done with this folder you can go into the ram optimization folder and i have left a lot of ram presets over here to know what ram you're using you have to simply search for system information and then look at the installed physical memory of your computer for me it is 16 gb so i have to run the 16 gb memory 
memory file it can be different for you you have to choose it accordingly once again i've also left a reset to default registry file over here so in case anything goes wrong or you do not find it really helpful you can always reset it back to default next thing is the msi utility v3 and you will find this file you have to simply right click and run this as administrator this will help you to prioritize your gpu you have to find your gpu name over here and then from undefined you have to set this to high and then click on apply this will basically help your gpu to prioritize towards your game a little bit more than normal and once you're done with that you can simply go back to the folder and go to the last folder that is the helpers you'll find the clean temporary files .bat. you can simply right click and run this as administrator administrator as well then this pop-up will ask you to delete all of the unnecessary temporary files you can simply press any key to continue and it will start deleting your temporary files don't worry this is completely safe and you won't be losing any important files then lastly you will find the unpark cpu.exe you don't need to run this if you're using exit lag but if you do not use exit lag then this is a better alternative you can simply right click and run this as administrator and once this application opens up you have to slide this core parking index maximum at 100 percent then simply click on apply and then let it run windows have a tendency to put your cores to sleep if they are not utilized or if they are under heavy usage so uh, unparking the cores means that the core can never go to sleep and if you're playing the games it will provide you much better performance so this is completely safe you can feel free to do this as well once you're done with that, you're done with the FPS pack. And lastly, we have to drop into the game and follow some best in-game settings. Okay, so once you are in-game, you have to go into the settings gear and then select graphic settings over here. Now, in the display mode, I highly recommend you guys to go with full screen exclusive. This will basically allow your game to draw resources as it needs. And this will get you much better FPS than all of the other modes right over here. For the display monitor, it's a personal preference. You can choose a monitor that you want. Display adapter should always be your graphic card. In case you have a laptop GPU or any other GPU, secondary GPU, you can set it to the most powerful one. For the screen refresh rate, I highly recommend you guys to select auto or the highest refresh rate possible for your monitor. For the display resolution, go with the native resolution of your monitor. Then for the dynamic resolution, I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off. I'm going to show you how to get more better FPS without using dynamic resolution ahead in the video. For the aspect ratio, you can go with 16 is to 9. That is the normal ratio of your monitor. But in case you're using a wide angle monitor or a curved monitor or any other thing, you can choose respective to your monitor. Now scroll all the way down until you find the custom frame rate limit. You have to go inside it and for the game gameplay custom frame limit you have to set it to three frames lesser than your monitor's base refresh rate my monitor has a refresh rate of 240 hertz so i have to set it to 237 if you have a refresh rate of 144 hertz you can set it to 141 if you have a refresh rate of 165 you can set it to 162 and just like that i hope that gets you an idea let's scroll all the way down for the display gamma if you use a monitor you can use 2.2 if you use a television you can use 2.4 then for the brightness you can set this brightness to a little bit higher than 50 to achieve that little bit of visibility in game then scroll all the way down until you find the high dynamic range and you have to make sure to keep this thing to off now let's move over to the quality section you can press apply to apply these settings and in the quality section for the global preset quality you have to keep it custom for the upscaling and sharpening so if you have a medium end computer and you want to achieve quality as well as fps i recommend you guys to use fidelity fx cast but if you have a super low end computer and you are ready to sacrifice your quality over fps then i would recommend you guys to go with amd fsr 1.0 it works best for you i personally use fidelity fx cast it works perfectly fine for me now for the anti-aliasing i would always recommend you guys to go for sm MAA T2X and for the anti-aliasing quality you can go for normal. For the video memory scale if you have a super low-end computer I would recommend you guys to go between 60 to 70 or even 80 if you want but if you have a medium-end computer or higher you can go with 90. I personally like to use 70 as it gives me better FPS over and all. For texture resolution I highly recommend you guys to go for low 
texture filter anisotropic you can go with normal uh, nearby level detail go with low distant level detail low clutter draw distance keep it long particle quality you always want it lower because this is a very big cause of the fps drops then for the particle quality level you can go with very low or low doesn't really matter a lot then for the bullet impacts uh, you can turn this on and off it's a personal preference persistent damage layers i also recommend you guys to keep this thing off for shader quality go with low tessellation you always want it off terrain memory keep it max and scroll all the way down until you find the on demand texture streaming i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off if you do not want packet loss or network issues as well as fps drops because it is a leading cause of it for the streaming quality you can go with low volumetric quality you always have to keep it low because it will keep reducing your fps drastically this is a major cause of your fps loss always make sure to keep this thing to low deferred physics quality you can go with off water caustics you can keep it off then for the shadow map and lighting you have to set just the spot cache to high and rest everything else to low and off then for the post processing effect i would always recommend you guys to keep everything off and for the nvidia reflex low latency you have to check between on and on plus boost whichever gives you the best fps and quality you can go and set this to that then go over to the view section and over here set for the field of view go with the maximum as well as weapon field of view go with wide third person field of view go with 90 vehicle field of view you can go with default or wide whatever you like and for the camera first person and third person you can go with least because you do not want the uh, shaking of a player while you are playing the game so go with least and once you're done with that, you are ready to play your game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. We are really close to 100,000 subscribers and I would definitely appreciate you guys if you dropped a sub. Also, don't forget to leave down ideas for the next videos and we'll see you in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.